Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Former President Trump is set to arrive any minute now at Armstrong International. Yeah, let's take a live look out at the airport at this hour. Trump is planning to hold a fundraiser tonight in Metairie. You can see the crowd gathered there waiting for him on the tarmac. The polls are still showing that he is the GOP's leading candidate for president, despite a recent federal indictment. Now, Eleanor Tabone is joining us live now from Metairie, where that fundraiser is going to be held. She brings us the very latest. Eleanor. That's correct. We are here in uh, Metairie as we await the arrival of the former President of the United States. Now, the Trump, the uh, fundraiser here is being held at Joseph Canizaro's house behind us. Now, attendees are being asked to donate more than $23,000 to attend the event here. I'm going to step out the way so you can see. We have people lining the streets. Slowly more people are gathering. Protesters are here as well, protesting the arrival of the former president. Here's what supporters and protesters had to say. Take a listen. I came out here in the heat to support Donald Trump, our next president. I stand, I support every, everything he stands for, and I think the country will be better off when he's president. For what reasons? For the reasons that are what's bad now with the country. The country, there's inflation, there's strife, there's war. We didn't have any of that when Donald Trump was president, and hopefully when he wins, we won't have that again. He's a liar, he's a thief, he's a cheater, he's a philander, he's a sexual abuser. Um, he's trying to change our form of government from democracy to fascism. That's not going to work for me. What are your thoughts on people having... At this point in time, there are still no sightings of Donald Trump at the airport as of yet. Reporting live, Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. All right, we'll continue bringing everyone the latest on the former president's visit. That'll be tonight on the Eyewitness News at 6 and, of course, at 10. And you can also find the latest updates on our website, our free smartphone app, and our social media pages. Well, Saints training camp.